Hi, Luis. How are you? Can you hear me, Luis? Hello, I'm fine. Perfect. I'm happy to see you. What happened to your classmates? Where are they? Come on. Do you know what happened to your classmates? Where are they? Um, no. Vamos a escribir en este momento. Maybe they forgot. A lo mejor se le olvidó. <laughs> they did receive the... Sí, enviaron ahora. Ah, creo que ahora no les enviaron. El recordatorio de link, ¿verdad? Puede ser eso. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Let me share this thing with you. Hi, Carmen, how are you? Okay, so we're checking. No teacher, I'm fine. All right, perfect. We're checking unit number three right now. Remember, we're doing the homeworks for each day in the platform. Okay, so. Um, ahora correspondería ser la del día de ayer, la del día miércoles, right? We have Thursday. Okay, so it says read the questions about time and take the answers and choose the correct one, right? The best one. So, si a mí me preguntan, what time is it? ¿Cuál de estas puedo utilizar yo para contestar? It's 8.45 o'clock. I would say this one, it's 8.45, right? O'clock, por lo general, but ya vamos a ver qué dice el plata por pero por lo general, o'clock se ocupa cuando son horas en punto. Por ejemplo, las 3 p.m., 4 p.m., cuando es la hora en punto, right? So we will check on that. Let's see. Number two, what time does the class start? It starts at six. Exactly. It starts at six. Mm -hmm. Cuando ocupan este tipo de preguntas, ¿a qué hora comienza algo? What time does this start? Ocupo la preposición at. Preposición de tiempo. Okay, at. Okay. Si yo dijera esta, it starts in six, estoy diciendo que empieza en seis horas. Okay? No a las seis. So that's the difference. Okay. And then number three. What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? At about 8.30. At about 8.30, that is correct. At about 8.30, right? And then, mismo escenario, ocupo la preposición at, right? Number four, what time does the academy close? Usually around 8 p.m. Okay, usually around 8 p.m., right? And number five, what time do you usually go to bed? What time do you usually At about 10.45, right? Yo dijera, it's 10.45, indico que en este momento son las 10 y 45, right? Así que sería at about alrededor de las 10 y 45, right? 
Then you select it, you send it, y ahí tiene usted ya su respuesta. Entonces, recapitulando. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es en el momento en que nos preguntan? It's o oh, it is y la hora, right? Para especificar, ahorita es esta hora. Okay? Si nos preguntan, what time does algo start? It starts, right? O podemos repetir el, el, ese algo que nos digan, por ejemplo, what time does the class start? Yo puedo decir, it starts at six, o puedo decir, the class starts at six. Okay? Ustedes tienen las dos versiones, las dos opciones. And then, si nos preguntan, what time do you? Podemos contestar, I, por ejemplo, what time do you arrive at work? La versión larga, I arrive at work at this and this. O se lo puedo decir la hora, at 8.30. Right? So it depends, you have up. Pero para propósitos de la, de la plataforma, sería okay? estos que están ahí en pantalla. Y con eso ustedes ya completan su tarea del día miércoles. ¿okay? La del día de ahora y la de mañana la vemos mañana antes de ir del fin. ¿okay? So, let me, okay, let me share the screen. Me voy a compartir la pantalla. Deme un minuto. All right, so we have some practice time from yesterday's topic, okay? Y para esta, ustedes van a contestar, van a escribir un párrafo y luego lo van a compartir. Tenemos ahí, nos dice el ejercicio. Talk about the things you like and the things you don't like about your job, okay? Minimum requirement is eight sentences, right? El mínimo que se acepta son ocho oraciones para hablar ya de un tema fijo. En este caso nos dice que mencionemos cosas que nos gustan y cosas que no nos gustan de nuestro trabajo. ¿okay? No tienen que ser eh, realmente, pueden ser inventadas. ¿okay? Ustedes escogen. Y tenemos el ejemplo ahí. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Veamos. Me. Ok, Carmen, ¿sí? Ok. Uh, One thing I like about my job is that I can stay at home and I don't have to travel to the office. I also like that they give me three weeks vacation every year, but I don't like that I cannot take them together. Correct. All right. Thank you. So, ahí tenemos un ejemplo corto, okay? Ustedes, ustedes tienen que estar más largo, ustedes tienen que hacer ocho líneas, ocho oraciones como mínimo. Describiendo, ¿verdad? Porque aquí ya van a, pl a platicar, te van a hablar. Un tema como alargado, digamos, right? So, talk about the things you like and the things you don't like about your job. Si se fijan, se ocupan tanto afirmativas como negativas, right? Incluso podemos meter terceras personas si estamos hablando de eso. Por ejemplo, I like that my boss is really a nice person, but I don't like that he always arrives late. But he asks me to arrive early at work, right? Pueden incluir a otras personas si las van a mencionar sobre cosas que les agradan o les desagradan, ¿ok? Entonces, hi, Eric. Les, veo que se acaba de conectar. Les voy a recapitular, ¿ok? Eh, lo que van a hacer a continuación es escribir un párrafo. Esto es individual. Cada uno de ustedes van a hablar sobre cosas que le gustan y cosas que no le gustan de sus trabajos. Pueden ser reales o inventadas. El mínimo de oraciones aceptables es ocho. ¿Okay? So, ocho oraciones es el mínimo. ¿Okay? So, tienen, les voy a dar diez minutos para esto porque son ocho oraciones como mínimo. Traten de ser lo más creativos posible. Expliquen por qué le gusta o por qué no le gusta, etc. ¿Okay? Traten de dar detalles. Que sea sí. lo más natural posible. ¿okay? Tienen 10 minutos para esto. Es individual. Escríbanlo. Y luego cuando ya pasen los 10 minutos. Lo vamos compartiendo. Yo les voy a dar el mío. Y ustedes hablan con los tuyos. ¿okay? Si necesitan ayuda. Yo estoy acá. Así que no worry.
Dijo, I like y I don't like. Ajá, o, cua, cosas que le gustan y que no le gustan de su trabajo. Ok. Y aquí está el ejemplo. Como, Así como el ejemplo. ¿no? Para que tomen como referencia. Ajá. Oh, ok. La idea, como mínimo ocho oraciones. Ok, como mínimo. De más, perfecto, ¿verdad? Right? Ok. Para los que se acaban de conectar, <ríe> eh, comentarles, ya no están, ahorita estamos escribiendo un párrafo, es individual. Tienen que hablar de las cosas que les gustan y que no les gustan de sus trabajos. Pueden ser reales o inventadas. Eh, mínimo ocho oraciones y acá está como el ejemplo, más o menos para referencia, cómo lo pueden hacer. Ok, gracias. <ríe>
the ones that have completed your paragraph, you can raise your hand and we can begin with you. Para los que ya terminaron su párrafo, pueden levantar la manito y podemos iniciar con ustedes. Me dejan saber. Si no, igual les quedan tres minutos. Okay, let's begin hearing Carmen, please. Okay, um, you say, I really love my job and all the things I do. I like the structure and the time for the entrance because I have the time to get ready, but before I can share with my family. And the location is really close to my house, only for blocks. I don't like when I have to go out to notify people when they owe taxes. But I try to enjoy the road because sometimes I have to go out of Candelaria. So it's a nice, it's a nice job. I love it. All right. <laughs> I love it. Very good job, Carmen. You incorporated affirmative and negative sentences. And you gave details. Al final del día, solo dar oraciones aisladas no es tan natural como cuando ya empieza a hacer comentarios y a dar detalles de cada oración, right? So very good job, Carmen. You did it really good. Okay. Veamos quién sigue, quién más ya terminó su párrafo y lo quiere compartir. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. One thing I like about my job is close to my house. And I only do it in the week. I don't work more than eight eight hours. I like my job because I don't get out early, but I don't like it. So some, some days I get out early. I like my job and going to it at my house. I like my job because I know other city cities. I don't lie by the traffic. All Finish. right. Thank you, Eric. Very good. So you gave a specific affirmative and negative sentence. It's some reasons why, some reasons why don't you. All right. So thank you. Very good. Very well done. Veamos, Luis, si nos ayuda por favor compartiendo el suyo. One thing I like about my job is the vacations because I like when we go to visit the beach on vacations with my family. And I don't like when we stay in home for my work because it's very boring. But I want to go next week and also take a nap for 30 minutes after swimming the sea. I can work all year, but the next week I will take a vacation because I don't want many work this week because I feel stressed after finish the last week. All right, Luis, I love it. You incorporated different scenarios in that one. Very good job. Bastante bien. Pues muy buen trabajo. Y vamos a escuchar a Josué Jonathan, please. Okay. I like my job. I can help too many people searching the development opportunity for the family from our city. I travel to different uh, places and I know to different people from different countries and different experience. And every people work with the same goal, help the people. I work with different organizations and embassies. They have different projects for our municipality. With your help, we can help many people. Perfect, very good. Also very fluent incorporated affirmative negative sentences and simple present structure wasn't point. So very good job. Thank you. Okay. 
So here's what you guys are going to do right now. A continuación van a entrar a la sala y van a crear una conversación en la que ustedes van a hablar de su película favorita. Okay? Van, a hablar, van a describir su película favorita. All right? So in this conversation, ojo, cuando hacemos conversación, no es solo pregunta-respuesta, pregunta-respuesta. Hacemos comentarios, pedimos más información, damos detalles, right? So, for example, um, un ejemplo, yo le digo, Jonathan, what is your favorite movie? Y Jonathan, oh, my favorite movie is a Fast and the Furious, the first one. Oh, really? Why do you like that? Y Jonathan, well, because it's the one that is, it has the best story. The other ones are really boring. They, they are too exaggerated. But I think that the first one was really good. Like it had effects and everything, right? And I was like, okay, how did you, when did you watch it the last time? And Jonathan, actually, I watch it every Sunday because I love it so much, etc. right? Se vuelve una conversación alrededor de ese tema. What is your favorite movie? Okay. Ambas partes en la sala van a contestar la misma pregunta, pero van a hablar, van a desarrollarla. De qué se trata y muere tal persona o hacen tal cosa, right? La idea es que se vuelva lo más larga posible la conversación en torno a ese tema, right? Lo mantenemos en presente simple con preguntas de sí o no y preguntas de información en las cuatro formas que ya tenemos. Yes or no questions, information questions, verb to be, and action verb. Y obvio lo que ya manejamos, que es eh, affirmative and negative sense. ¿Ok? Así que vamos a entrar a las salas. Van a tener 15 minutos para crear esta conversación. Todos los participantes en la sala tienen que participar. Todos los de la sala tienen que platicar. Ese es el punto. ¿Ok? Van a tener 15 minutos y si necesitan más tiempo después, cuando regresemos, ustedes me dejan saber. Pero por ahorita vamos con 15, ¿ok? Pueden ingresar ahora a la sala. Recuerden el tema, what is your favorite movie? Y de eso van a hablar.
Almita, la voy a meter a una de las salas con sus compañeros. Eh, ellos están haciendo una conversación hablando sobre su película favorita. De eso se trata. Si ellos, ah, no, okay. la, si ellos no la pueden incorporar, no se preocupe, pero solo esté ahí con ellos y trate de ver si la pueden incorporar en la conversación. Ok, ok. okay. Ahorita Gracias. Les uh -huh. Gracias. Les voy a dar unos minutos más para que puedan ver si la incorporan, ¿ok? Bye, perfecto, uh -huh. gracias. A la orden, ahí está el detalle.
Well, hello. Did you finish the conversation? No, teacher. We need more time, please. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. I'm going to give you guys eight minutes. Le voy a dar Thank you. Ocho minutos a las cincuenta y cinco, okay? Okay. Thank yo, no es, yo no escucho nada. Viera que entrecortado escucho todo. Okay. Creo que mi voz es el que está fallando. Porque a usted se le escucha con claridad, Almita, así que solo trate. Si se puede, se incorpora, Almita, por favor. Si no, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Okay. Thank you. Las salas están abiertas para que puedan completar.
Okay. Eight. All right, we're all back. Let's hear those conversations. Vamos a escuchar esas conversaciones. Tenemos a la sala uno, tenemos a Carmen, Josué Jonathan y Luis Escaraz. Adelante. Okay. Ready. Ready. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Luis. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. What are you doing here, Carmen? Mm, I want to ask you if you know what movies are in the theater currently. Uh, I don't know. Mm, okay, and you, Jonathan? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is your favorite type of movies, Jonathan? I like a romantic movie. What is your favorite romantic movie? My favorite movie is The 16th Day of Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Really? You do mine too. I think it's very romantic and also very funny. What is your favorite scene, Jonathan? My favorite scene is when she hit with a bat at her best friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny scene. And your favorite scene? Mm, my favorite scene is when Anne comes to her house and fun with her father and they talk about Lucy and the things she does when she looks him and she paints flowers and sing sound. It's a cute scene. Oh, it's it's very romantic when he sings ta ti ta ti ta ti ta ti ta <laughs> Yeah, it's uh it's a song, it's very cute. Yeah. Luis, what is your favorite movie? I like adventure movies, like The Lord of the Rings. Mm, what is that movie about, Luis? This is an adventure movie about a ring and battles. It's a medieval movie. Mm, great. Do you have a favorite scene? I don't know, because I like three movies of the saga. Okay, okay. I never seen it. I recommend it for you. So watch this movie. Okay, I add to my list. Okay, bye. See you later, Carmen, after I finish the movie. Okay, bye. We are also late for our movie. Bye. Bye, bye. All right, very good job. Well executed that conversation. <laughs> it was very natural good intonation sounding like expert sounding like that good flow it was flowing there were no spaces like silence right so that's really good and all the structures were used correctly so that's really really good rule number one muy buen trabajo las estructuras no sé no hubo errores en ningún afirmativas negativas preguntas preguntas de si o no así que muy buen trabajo Okay, we're gonna listen to room number two right now. We have Eric Guzman and Oswaldo Salguero, por favor. Okay. Okay. Eric. Hi, Tejo. Hi, Eric. What do you Hello. want? Ah, oh, fine, very well, very fine, Eric. Uh, oh. What do you do, Eric? I do study English now. Hey, it's very hard the class, but I learn very. I learn. Um, Eric, what is your favorite, your favorite, your favorite movie? My favorite movie is the Titanic. Oh yeah, me too. The Titanic. I like it. Oh. The movie is romantic. Yes, very romantic. And in this occasion, when I see the movie, I cry, very cry. But the situation and the Jack and Rose, very difficult. The, uh, the, the tragedy, the tragedy, the movie is a big tip. And 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 load the the 
the Jack and Rose. Yes, yes. This is a situation. This is this situation is very very difficult, and the tragedy is remembered by, but all people. Very, how much, uh, how much, people dead. Oh, and the uh, on the ship they were different social class. Yes, but uh, but the different classes, the, the different classes, uh, the different classes, social class. But the love is the first. The love in the Jack and Rose is the first. Don't important that different classes then then. Oh, after love, the movie, the tra tragedy is the cheap thing because. Yeah. Because the one who boiled it said that no even good world sing it. Yes, yes. Other thing I like it is the 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 song. We the 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 song of the of the picture of the yeah. movie. Oh, is is really like. My heart will go on. It's this a very this a very song for me. Okay. Okay. See you. See you. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, it was really good. I love that it was yeah. very fluent. There were no spaces, no silence. Rose diet. <laughs> <laughs> Rose dies. Then I'm Maria Rose. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> a very good job. I like that you use the structures, right? You were using affirmative, negative questions, and then a little bit of past tense also. So that's good. You used it correctly. So thank you, room number two, Eric and Oswaldo. Okay, so antes de seguir, le voy a pasar asistencia. Entonces, que lo olvide. Please give me one moment. Be ready when you're listening to your next. Um, okay. okay, Alma y Anet Martina. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Armin is Jimmy Dia. Carlos Eduardo Garcia. Cesar Heriberto Roca. Cesar Omar Serna. Luis del Carmen Hernández. Present. Thank you. Doris Cecilia Lima. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you. Jose Mauricio Martinez. Josué Jonathan Roca. Present. Thank you. Luis Enrique Zarate. Present. Thank you. Melissa Lisset. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. Present. Thank you. Ulda Lisset. William Ernesto. Zulma Evangelina Magaña. Y Zulma Noemí Linares. Okay, so that's with the attendance. Y ahora le voy a compartir la presentación. Un momento. Ya van a estar. Este momento. Okay. A continuación, tenemos time questions, right? We have time questions. These are like common ones, frequent ones, right? So we have, for example, what time do you wake up on school days? And this is applicable for adults and for kids, right? What time do you wake up on school days? For example, when your kids are studying during the season of school, you wake up very early. But I'm thinking when your kids are on vacation, you don't have to wake up so early, right? So what time do you wake up on school days, right? And in that scenario, we can answer, for example, well, on school days, con ese específico scenario, right? On school days, I wake up at 5 a.m. because I have to prepare the breakfast, right, for the kids and that. 
But if you don't have kids, or if you don't have kids studying, you can also say, well, on a school day, I wake up at 7 a.m. because I, I don't have kids. I don't have to go to school either, etc. right? So we have different questions in here, right? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you leave home to go to school? The only thing you're, you're going to do is you're going to think it and best is it to school, but it's to work in a sort of category. Or in a school day, on work day, okay? So we're going to choose three questions out of this list. We're going to choose three questions and we're going to write the answers, your personal answers, okay? Van a escoger tres preguntas de esta lista y van a, van a contestarlas. Van a escribir la respuesta y luego me las comparten. Ojo, no queremos respuestas de una línea, de una oración. Por ejemplo, what time do you have lunch? Oh, I have lunch at 12 noon. That's not, a, that's not a intermediate answer, right? For example, well, sometimes I have lunch at noon, but other days I don't have time at that moment. So I have to take lunch at 1 p.m. I prefer to have it at noon, but sometimes I have to have it at 1. It depends on the day or the activity, right? Así, ese tipo de respuestas queremos. En el que ustedes den más de una oración y expliquen a qué hora hacen cosas, qué cosa, pero por qué las hacen a esa hora o qué días no las hacen, etc. Right? Así que escojan tres de esas listas y las contestan. Escriban una respuesta lo más larga que puedan, lo más desarrollada que puedan. Y luego las compartimos. Les voy a dar 10 minutos para esta actividad, ¿ok? Está es individual. Cada uno escoge tres y escribe su respuesta. Vuelvo y repito, no me vayan a dar respuestas de una oración, por favor. <ríe> ¿Ok? You have 10 minutes. Tienen 10 minutos. A las 20 podemos escribir. Si terminan antes, levantan la mano. ¿Ok? Es individual. Una pregunta. Son sí. solo tres, ¿verdad? Sí, escogen tres. Y desarrollen bueno. cada respuesta. Uh -huh.
Cinco días han pasado desde el fuego de cayeron del conflicto entre Israel y Japón y el Madrid es un fuerte de la Ya terminé, teacher. Perfect. So you can share your answers with us, Sandy. Which ones did you select and what are the answers? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, the number one is, what time do you wake up on school day? Well, when I went to school, usually wake up at 5 a.m. But now I wake up past 6 a.m. because I don't have kids to take to school. Okay. Number two, what time do you have lunch? I always take my lunch at 12.50. It is my perfect hour. And if I don't take my lunch at that hour, everything makes me bad. I have a unique hour. And the last one is, what time do you go to bed? Currently, I go to my bed at 10 o'clock. After I finish my English class, I take a shower and also pray. After that, I go to my bed until the next day. Very good, Carmen. Well, these are those questions were very well developed, very complete. Searches were used correctly. And you incorporated, um, what is it? time propositions, right? So you incorporated adverb frequency with your <laughs> yeah. answers. So that's really good. It makes it sound more natural, right? A medida que van agarrando más temas, lo van incorporando okay. en su conversación. Y de eso se trata, right? Así que muy buen trabajo, Karen. Thank you. All right. Do we have anyone else that has already completed the questions? Do we have volunteers? Me, teacher. All right. Luis, please go ahead. Okay. What time do you have breakfast? I take my breakfast at 6 a.m. I like eat pupusas for a start today. And what time what time do you have come to go to school? After take my breakfast, I go to school at 7 a.m. and I like to take the bus when the day is a sunny day. And finally, what time do you arrive home? I arrive at to home at 4 p.m. after to visit my friends. I don't like arrive to my home on Mondays because I like visit my friend Jose in his house this day. That's really cool, Luis. I like the answer. It's very specific information. And you gave details, right? Que hace toda la diferencia. Y al final de eso se trata que ustedes no contesten como básico, aunque están en básico, pero con las herramientas que ya tienen, con la estructura que ya manejan, pueden desenvolverse solos. Así que muy buen trabajo, Luis. Muy bien hecho. Let's see who goes next. Who's the next one?
Who's the next volunteer? I teach it. All right, we're gonna listen to Eric and then we're gonna listen to Alma después. Go ahead, Eric, please. Okay. Okay. What time do you have a breakfast? I have a breakfast around 7.30. Uh, first prepare breakfast, then I wear clothes and serve the table. Uh, next, what time do you arrive at home? I arrive at home night 10 p.m. Because I'm going to play soccer and after I am English class. What time uh, next? What time do you go to bed? I go to bed uh, around uh, 10 30 p.m. because my son play na neighborhood to 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 the block. All right, Only very people. good. Eric, I love the answers. Very specific <laughs> information and you incorporated details and even third person. Yes, the third person in the conversation. Okay, so good work, Eric. Thank you. Okay, Vamos thank con you. Almita. Okay. First, what time do you go to bed on Saturday? I go to bed at 12 p.m. because I see action movies. I love it. And they are entertaining. And then drink meal by sleep all the night. What time do you leave home to go to job? I leave to home 35 minutes because driving that three line road. What time do you have breakfast? I have a breakfast and one hour, and I prepare soup and chicken. Very good, Alma. I love this answer. It's were very specific information, and you included affirmative sentences. Muy bien usada la estructura. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we're going to listen. Nos falta escuchar a Josué Jonathan y luego a Oswaldo, por favor. Okay. What time do you have a lunch? I have a lunch at 12 and half. I drive to my house for the lunch. It's in home and return to my job at 1 p.m. What time do you go to bed? Usually, I go to the bed at 10 p.m., but sometimes I work in different projects and I go to the bed at midnight. Um, what time do you get up for the weekend? At the weekend, I get up very early. I work in my house the weekend. The Saturday, I start to work at uh, 8 a.m. All right, very well job, Jonathan. I love the answers. You were very specific. The structures were used correctly. Toda la estructura. Que muy buen trabajo. Y vamos con Oswaldo, por favor. Okay. Uh, what time do you have a dinner? I take my dinner between uh, seven seven hours or seven thirty minutes p.m. My dinner in my dinner I eat. Uh, Beans, eggs, cream, tortillas, and take a and drink a water. While I take a, a dinner, talk up with my wife and comments about the day of the work, the day of the work in my house or in the office. What time do you arrive home? I arrive home at six p.m. Six p.m. I walk from my from my work to home. While work, I see your very people realize different activities. What time do you get to get up in the weekend? I wake up at 5, 5 a.m. and I'll, I'll clean my house and buy the bread in the store. Nice, important, buying the bread. 
<laughs> Very good as well, though. Thank you for that. You use the correct questions and the structure for the answers also. What were you? Using. All right. So, guys, I'm going to stop sharing here. Y lo voy a compartir en pantalla en este momento. And we're going to check the topic for tonight, which we are adding another topic, which is preposition of time. All right. So we're incorporating prepositions of time right now. These are some of the ones we have. Okay. So there are three prepositions that are the most common ones. Okay. We have at, we have on, and we have in. You use them in different scenarios. Each preposition can be used in multiple scenarios. Cada preposición se puede usar en diferentes escenarios. Okay. Así que lo vamos a ver ahorita. Um, I need one, two, three, four, five volunteers para leer. Cada uno lee dos. Para decir más, se dice plus. Entonces dice at plus specific time y lee los ejemplos. At plus holiday period y lee los ejemplos. Ok. Cada uno va a leer dos, 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 dos. Ok. Con sus ejemplos. So, who wants to read the first one? ¿Quién quiere iniciar? Volunteers. Para leer. Ay, Ok, uh, Almita nos ayuda con at, Eric nos ayuda con on, y luego veamos, Oswaldo nos ayuda con las primeras dos, in, plus months and plus year, um, Carmen nos ayuda con in, plus the decade, plus the century, y Luis, si puede, nos ayuda con in, plus season, in, plus time period, ok? Ok, teacher. Iniciamos. At plus specific time, I get up at 8 o'clock. No, es que está ahí la, la flechita. At uh -huh. I get up at 7 o'clock. At plus specific time, the movie starts at 8.30. At plus holiday period, they sing, they, they sing Carol carols at Christmas. At plus holiday period, come and visit us at Thanksgiving. Okay, next. On plus day, I will visit you on Wednesday. On plus day, where where you on Friday? On plus date, his birthday is on March 27. Así es, teacher. Yes. On plus date, the exam is on the uh, 15. 15. <laughs> 15. Okay. 15. Mm -hmm. yeah. in, in plus month, my birthday is in January. In plus month, I'm going on vacation in August. In plus years, Shakespeare was born in 1564. Right. <laughs> in plus years, the Titanic scan in 1912. Good. Right. In plus the plus decade, life was difficult in the 1940s. Uh, there were many hippies in the 60s. 60. 60. And in plus the plus century, we are living in the 21st century. It was built in the 6th century. Okay, and the last one, let's do. Me, right? Okay. We go to the beach in summer. There, 
eating many flowers in spring, the meeting starts in 10 minutes, and she will be here in three hours. Thank you. Okay, so the scenario. Si yo quiero mencionar hora específica, ocupo I. I start the class at 8 p.m. I go to sleep at 10 p.m., right? O para hablar de Christmas period, eh, the holiday period, que es como los días de asueto, okay? Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Independence Day, etc., right? Se puede usar at para mencionar eso, okay? Pero se va a mencionar, cuando ocupan eso, se va a mencionar el nombre de la suerte. Por ejemplo, at Christmas. No digo at 24th December, no. At Christmas, el nombre de la, del holiday. ¿sí? Puedo ocupar on plus the days. For the days of the week, you will use on. ¿sí? Si yo solo, solo voy a mencionar los días de la semana, ocupo on. On Wednesday, on Friday, on Tuesday, on Monday. Ojo, solo el día. Solo el día de la semana, on. Okay. I practice English on Monday. Okay. Y también para fechas completas. Okay. Cuando voy a dar la fecha completa, es on. For example, my birthday is on June 23rd. The module finishes on October 20th, ok, fechas, eh, fechas completas, mes y año, fecha completa, on, ok, solo el día de la semana, on. Ahora bien, si voy a mencionar solo el mes, sin la fecha, sin el día, solo el nombre del mes, ocupo in. For example, my birthday is in January, ok, I finished classes in October. We started the class in September. Ok. Si solo menciono el número del mes, es in. Y lo mismo con el año. Si solo va el número, el año, es in. For example, I was born in 1989. Ok. I will finish working in 2030. <laughs> ok. In. The World Cup, the World Cup was in 2022. Ok. Si solo menciona el mes o solo el año, in, ok. Y voy a mencionar mes y año, es fecha completa, así que sería on. Ojo. Then we have in plus the decade. Si voy a hablar de las décadas o siglos, ocupo in, ok. In the 21st century, in the 60s, ok. Y luego para periodos, para, eh, no unos periodos, para, ¿cómo se llama? Las estaciones del año. Para las estaciones del año, in. In summer, in spring, in fall, in winter. Ok. Y para periodos de tiempo. En tanto tiempo. In 10 minutes. In three hours. Ok. So those are the different scenarios. No se pueden cruzar es, estos escenarios. Ok. Por ejemplo, no puedo decir. Si voy a hacer la fecha completa. March 27th. In March 27th. Uh -uh, incorrect. Que es on March 27th. Pero si se lo voy a decir March, no puedo decir on March, tiene que ser in March. All right? So, ojo con esta guía, para que es lo más resumida posible, right? So that you can use it correctly. And what you're going to do, we are going to, we have some, aquí está más resumido. At, para tiempos específicos, para la hora precisa, right? In, para los meses, para los años, los siglos y periodos y tiempo, okay? Y on para días específicos y fecha completa. Ok. Y acá tenemos algunos ejemplos. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Right? An example. Jane went home at lunchtime. Ojo. Días de la. Días. Perdón. Es, eh, etapa del día. In the morning. Esos son estándares. Así no van a variar nunca. Así son ya. Ok. Y esto es aprendes. In the morning. In the afternoon, in the evening. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero para decir al mediodía, yo digo at noon. Para decir medianoche, digo at midnight. Y para decir en la noche, at night. Okay, esos, esos sí son estándar. Así son, igual no van a variar. Entonces yo digo 
in the morning, so we're gonna in the afternoon, in the evening. Para esos tres, ocupo in, okay? Para mediodía, ocupo at, sería at noon. Para medianoche, at midnight. Y para decir en la noche, at night. Si se fijan, con la noche no digo in the night, digo at night. Okay? Y esas, esas seis sí son estándar, tiempos del día, right? In the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, at night, in the evening, at night, at midnight. Okay? En ese orden irían, digamos, in the morning, luego tenemos at noon, al mediodía. Después de at noon iría in the afternoon. Luego iría in the evening. Luego iría at night. Y al final at midnight. Ok. Y ahí les tienen esas. Y ya son estándares específicos. Ahí están en el chat. Lo que van a hacer ustedes a continuación. Es que van a entrar a las salas. Y van a crear una conversación. Ese es tema libre. Ok. Acá no les voy a dar el escenario específico yo. Ustedes escogen el tema libre. Lo único que tienen que incorporar es. Adivinaron, prepositions of time, la que acabamos de ver. Ojo, si pueden incluir prepositions of time y también adverbs of frequency en su conversación, mucho que mejor, porque es más rica la conversación, right? Tiene más elementos, que es lo que estamos tratando. Que ustedes se acostumbren a usar lo poco que hemos visto de contenido, ocúpenlo todo lo más que puedan en conversación, right? Para que se vayan familiarizando, que se, le, a que se les haga sencillo, right? So, we're going to open the rooms. Vamos a abrir las salas. Van a tener 15 minutos para crear esa conversación. Ojo, no queremos conversaciones chiquitas. Ya están por terminar el módulo. A una semana casi. Así que, conversaciones de medianas a largas. Con detalles, con comentarios, preguntas, respuestas, etc. Right? Requisitos, prepositions of time. Y at frequency at. Pueden ingresar ahora. Tienen 15 minutos. Vamos ingresando a la sala, por favor.
in the other partners. Where are you? <laughs> the lost partners. Les faltan cinco segundos para regresar. <laughs> sí, que les dan, les dan 60 segundos a todos. <laughs> ok, ahí están, ¿no? Ahí están. Ah. Desde que habían ido a dormir. <laughs> no, no. Tienen que dar esa conversación primero. <laughs> Ok, vamos a escuchar en la sala 1. Tenemos a Almita y a Carmen Hernández, okay. por favor. Ok. Ok, ready. Hello, ready. Almita. Are you ready for the party at night? Oh, hello, Carmen. Yes, I'm ready for the party at night. You know what is your outfit? No, really. Why? Because at night, almost every day, it's raining now. So I don't know if I put a dress or a palazzo. Mm. Usually at night, I use a dress to go to the party. Yes, me too. But I think it can rain and I don't want to wet my clothes. Mm. What time is the party? It is at 8 p.m. Um. I will pick you up, up at 7.30 to go together. Okay, Almita. I wait for you. See you at night. Okay, Carmen. See you later. Bye. Very good. I love that conversation. <laughs> very <laughs> simple, but very specific use of the prepositions. I write at night, usually, right? And many others that you use. Very well executed. Muy buen trabajo con esa conversación, ladies. Thank you. A continuación, Thank you. vamos a escuchar a la sala 2. Tenemos acá a Eric Guzmán y a Luis Escarac, por favor. Okay. Hello, Eric. What are you doing? Hello, Luis. I think about what to do on your vacation. Uh, okay. In my case, at vacations, usually I visit my family in other country. How often do you have your vacation? Usually, Please. usually I take in December for Christmas. Oh, on Christmas, my brother visits with me or family. They live in front of a new supermarket. Oh, it's awesome. In Christmas, I like to take time for a stay with my brother, too. I like to take a time for my family. Oh, uh, at night, Christmas dinner with them. I, I like December for winter or the cool clean. Okay. In my case, on Saturdays, I take the dinner with my family in my mother's house. And and I like December to the winter and the cold climate too. What time is your reunion, your family reunion on 24 of December? At night at uh, 7 p.m. Ah, okay. It's awesome. Okay. Oh, okay, bye. Good luck with your vacations. Bye. Bye. Very good, Eric, Luis, incorporaron bastante, bastantes escenarios de las propositions of time y también hicieron frequency adverbs, así que muy buen trabajo, bien ejecutada esa conversación. All right, now we're going to listen to room number three. We have Jonathan and Oswaldo. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan, ready for your party, for your birthday? Yes, I am ready. You can help me to organize the party? Yes, I like organize the party. And glad to me you help you. Okay. What day is a party, Jonathan? The party is on Saturday, the next Saturday. Yes, it's an excellent day. day. The party is an afternoon on the evening. The party is it's in the afternoon. But time to break the party. 
The fray is at 3 p.m. Ah, it's excellent. Do you have a music? Yes, of course. What time began the music? And the music starts at 5 p.m. and later the dinner. Mmm, delicious. What time do you think finish the finish the party? I think at midnight. Okay. But may I, I can help you, Jonathan. Okay, so 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 you can help me. Okay, I help you. See you okay. next Saturday. Okay, thank you, bye. All right, I love it. Very good conversation. Even incorporating future. Un escenario que no hemos visto todavía, pero que ustedes lo pudieron utilizar bien, es presente simple para futuras acciones. Por ejemplo, see you next Saturday, right? So I can help you next Saturday. Very good job with that, guys. Incorporating that. Also frequency address and the prepositions of time. Los diferentes escenarios, right? Así que muy, bien, muy buen trabajo con esa conversation. Ok, vamos a llegar hasta acá. Le voy a pasar lista una vez más. So please be ready when you listen to your name. Ok, Alma y Anet Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Armi Esquini Díaz. Carlos Eduardo. César Heriberto. César Omar. Luz del Carmen Hernández. I'm here. Thank you. Doris Cecilia Lima. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you. Jose Mauricio Martínez. Jonathan, Josué Jonathan Roca. Present. Thank you. Luis Enrique Escarate. Present. Thank you. Melissa Lizette Álvarez. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. Here, teacher. Thank you. Olda Lizette. William Ernesto. Zulma Evangelina Magaña y su hermano Emil Linar. Ok, con esto terminamos entonces. Recordarles que mañana es viernes. Eh, sería la clase 15 para nosotros. 15 de 20. Así que solo tienen la clase de mañana y las 5 de la otra semana y terminamos módulo el viernes 20 de octubre. Okay? Así que ojo para que no faltemos, para que lo más que podamos. Si alguien le puede recordar a Cecilia y a Zulma que se conecten también para que todavía pueden aumentar su asistencia, ¿de acuerdo? De ahí espero que tengan un buen día. Mañana. Me, it's very ¿Sí? difficult to stay in, in the class tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's very difficult. I have a meeting with my 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 parents. Okay. Um, se puede, si se puede conectar como ¿sí? como oyente, si no, no hay ningún problema. Ajá. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Y okay. Le, es otro ojo, si le recuerdan a Ceci y a Zulma, por favor, que se conecten también. Okay. Todavía están a tiempo de salvar la asistencia necesaria para ir, pasar al siguiente módulo, ¿ok? okay. Si se conectan okay. mañana y las clases que tienen pendientes. ¿All right? Así okay. que que tengan un buen día mañana. Los veo en la noche. Have a good night, okay. everyone. Okay. Sí. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Good night, bye. Good night, bye.